Hello there. So this is uh, Insidious Chapter 3, um, which is actually, well, it came out in 2015, and uh, it's actually a prequel to the first two movies. I feel like the first two movies were kind of like one movie, because the first one was like an hour and 40, there are 35, and then the second one was kind of an hour and 40, so I, I feel like uh, after watching those two, they kind of are like one just three hour movie. Really, you can actually watch them back to back and it'd be fine. Um, you could actually watch this one first um, because it is a prequel to the first two. Um, which is interesting because, uh, well, it, it shows that... Um, the psychic, uh, Elise, uh, she didn't actually, she actually stopped being a, uh, a psychic, like stopped helping people for like a year after her husband died because um, when she actually went to the other side to find her husband, she ended up uh, finding the the ghost, the the lady ghost that's the, you know the body from the first two films and uh, so that kind of that's stopping her from helping people uh, which is really kind of um, like that's the big plot point like that's her thing she has to get over in order to like you know get on with it kind of a thing um, the story is really focused on this teenage girl who lives with her younger brother and her dad in an apartment building and it kind of starts off you know basic enough but um well it starts off with her going and seeing Elise and I think that's her name and wanting to help her get in contact with her mum and saying that you know her mum she feels like her mum's around her all the time and you know Elise thinks that's nice but then she says that then Elise asks did you actually try and get in contact with her yourself and and you see, you're not supposed to do that stuff and these kinds of stuff. You know, you're not supposed to contact the dead on your own, like, because you could be yeah, inviting in anything at all. You know, that's what Elise tells her. So, uh, that's what kind of happens. You know, she invited in a ghost that, you know, wanted to um, mess with her, possess her, or, or, you know, do bad things to her. So, it was kind of... Um, so the movie itself was actually uh, a little bit of a slow burner. I did actually enjoy it. I thought it was really good. I thought it was, it was decent acting in it. We got to know um, the actual Ghostbusters from, like, you know, like how they actually met Elise. And, because when Elise tried to help her, uh, the teenager, uh, they had to then turn to the Ghostbusters to try and help, and of course, um, they were in way over their heads, which was really funny. Um, so yeah, I kind of recommend watching this film before the actual first two films. And uh, I might actually, yeah, I'm thinking of this now, I'm going to actually put this on out first. Maybe, or I'll, I'll look at, there's, there's a fourth film. So I'll see where that is in the timeline, but I'll I'll release these movie reviews in the correct timeline, and then that way, you know, people know how to watch them then. Um, but spoilers a bit, like, you know, this ghost with a mask is actually haunting the teenager, and the teenager tries to get on with her life normally, and uh, she sees this ghost, like, you know, waving to her every now and again, and um, it's far away at the beginning, and then um, all of a sudden she ends up in an accident. And I won't ruin it for you, but she ends up in an accident. And uh, and then it kind of, it goes from there really because then the go because she spends three weeks in hospital. And in those three weeks, the ghost is really like close to her. And in fact, she's she the ghost is able to be in the same room as her. So it's kind of uh, freaky and scary. And... Um, her neighbor who's really old uh she has she's kind of losing it her mind a wee bit but she's like warns her of the ghosts she says they can hear them in the night 
saying your name and he's in your room and so she kind of warns us so that was really good and then um the 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 movie's well paced and it's very good and there's secrets you know you think the hotel is full of ghosts and it's really scary but then you you find out some secrets about what's really going on and what's really happening and um you know it's 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 actually a pretty good movie and uh, I laughed a couple of times at the scary bits. I thought it was really good. But, um, yeah, I do recommend it. I recommend that you watch You can watch it as a prequel. You can actually watch it first before you watch the other films. Um, but, yeah, uh, my favourite bit. So, I'll get into spoilers now and just talk about my favourite bits. Uh, my favourite bit was... So, you can stop watching the music review now if you want to. But um, my, my favourite bits were actually... Uh, because the friend crossed the street first and I thought she was going to get hit by the cow but then she didn't but then out of nowhere the teenager did and that was brilliant um, uh, the ghost actually just messing with her in the room where she was sleeping like picking her up and throwing her around the place like that was brilliant that was really funny um, at least being in the other side uh the second time and then realizing actually all these ghosts in the hotel are people that the um the man with the mask like he made them kill themselves and like it was really sad like you know so at least had to try and help them go to the other side you know uh i think that's what that's what she should have done but like i don't know if she actually did that or not but yeah uh uh what else uh yeah, seeing the ghost, seeing the Ghostbusters, like you know, they're not in their suit and ties. They're actually just normal. One of them's wearing a Casper, like jacket, and the other one's like a Mister T haircut. <laughs> That's very funny. Um, yeah, it was it was good and it was a happy ending. And you know, uh, what else? Um. Yeah, that's that's kind of it. Like it was, it was good set up. It was good plot points. Uh, at least you know had her arc. Uh, the teenager had her arc. Uh, getting over her mum's death. Um, you know, at least got back to kind of the way, like you know, you know, with a little help with her new friend, she can actually go and do it now. She can actually go back to being you know, uh, a medium and helping people, which is great. Um, yeah, it was fine. It's a, it's a, it's, it's only on for an hour and a half. You can kind of fast forward through the yappity bits, but you know what I mean? But if you just want to look at the good bits, you know, cause it's just like plot point after plot point, you know, but it's just, when it gets into scary bits, it is good. And it kind of sets up then at the very end, it sets up then for the next movie. And, uh, well, actually, one of my favourite bits was Elise's husband sitting on the bed and talking to her and then trying to convince her to kill herself. Like, that was really, that was good, you know. Um, so that's it, really. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed the film. Uh, definitely recommend it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next movie review.